Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Reacting Chat. I'm Dika. So last time on What to Call Love is Hard for Otaku, it was a Christmassy episode. <coughs> we uh, saw Narume asking um, Koenagi what she was going to be doing for Christmas. Um, unfortunately, last year, Kapukara had to work the year before, so she never got an opportunity to really spend Christmas with him. They were just doing their own thing. However, by the end of the episode, he did make amends to make sure he spent Christmas with her by making plans well in advance. We also got a nice scene with <coughs> Naoya, um, Hirotaka's brother, while they were out and about um, and Narumi and Hirotaka were kind of reminiscing about sorts of things they do, uh, generally what people do at Christmas. They met him and he said that, you know, he doesn't, he wants to be able to give someone that joyous feeling so when somebody thinks about christmas and they think about whether it's santa claus or whatever he hopes to be that missing piece for them so it's actually really nice um and in the end um after narumi did tell her talk about what she you know she misses spending christmas with her family um you know i think she was like they were eating cake i think was it on christmas day or christmas eve they'd be eating cake and just sort of for kind of being in each other's presence i think he and they ended up doing that together anyway which was actually really nice so here we are with episode 7. Oh, this is the characters from the beginning. <laughs> Aww. 
Seven. That was actually quite a nice episode. I really liked that thing in the beginning, um, even with the <coughs> title reminding that reminding us that we're still watching uh, Watakoi, uh, as in the anime. So we had that little game sequence where we got again got to know a little bit more about uh, their pairings, as you could pretty much say. You know, we found out that, for example, Hirotaka doesn't really like online games and these sorts of things because he doesn't like sort of interacting with people. Even though he's a gaming otaku, he likes. Uh, either playing by himself or like sort of playing against somebody um we also found out that kuyanagi well kabukura thought that kuyanagi kind of got jealous because um considering the differences they kind of all have um hirotaka and uh, narumi excuse me hirotaka and narumi are always gaming they always sort of they kind of have that sort of similarity even though they do like different things um na- um Narumi is a serious gamer, so I think that's what Kabukura picked up on. She that Koenagi started doing the whole gaming thing because she kind of felt jealous of them too. 
Um, and obviously we had Naoa, who came in in Hirotaka's place. He was like, he just said that he'll be on his way. And it was so cute because he was trying to obviously defeat the dragon. But in the end, when Hirotaka showed up, he showed them why his level was on maximum. So that was actually quite nice and actually really cute. Oh, and I forgot to mention that when Koyanagi finally joined the game, she did say to, uh, she did mention that, you know, regardless, even if this these sorts of gamings and stuff isn't Hirotaka's thing, every time that uh, Narumi invites him, he would always come along. Even if he does feel uncomfortable, he would always come along because Narumi had invited him, which is, again, really nice. And then we got to the main part of the show where we had respective pairs uh obviously Kiyonagi and Narumi and obviously and Kabakura and uh, Nifuji Hirotaka they had gone out for drinks on separate occasions I absolutely loved when um when the girl pair when they were sitting there when Narumi and Kiyonagi were sitting there and obviously Narumi was trying to talk it was kind of nice because in, um Kiyonagi watched the recommended shows that Narumi had talk to her about and she obviously watched them so they could talk about it and have that sort of friendship however they always have indifference about in terms of pairings or the people they like within the shows which gives them a huge indifference and i think one of the characters somebody does say it towards the end of the show as well that they how do they get on when they're so different but the funniest part was when narumi had mentioned that would you ever be against putting your own boyfriend in a BL pair and they started talking about their respective boyfriend they seemed to they could not agree on who should be um top in this relationship and it was hilarious the arguments they were putting forward as to why it should be either um Kawabakura or why it should be Hirotaka so that was absolutely hilarious um meanwhile um Kawabakura had taken out had taken his juniors out to dinner with Hirotaka and they obviously mentioned, they were talking about their girlfriends respectively. Uh, obviously talking about uh, Momose, how she's cute and mentioning all the stuff about her. It was a, it's affecting, in the back of, you could see that it was getting on um, Hirotaka's nerves. However, one of them overheard um, Naomi mentioning she had a boyfriend, which automatically helped change Hirotaka's perceptive, perception of the situation. Obviously, um, because he'd been wanting to be in a relationship <laughs> He's reserved my cat. Stop it. He's been wanting to make the, the relationship more official and see actually be her boyfriend. And the fact that even though they don't know who this boyfriend and boyfriend is, but she mentioned him to say mentioned that she was spending time with her boyfriend, clearly was a very um, impressionable thing on him. And on the flip side, they were saying they were singing Koyanagi's praises, and you had Kabukura sitting there thinking, if only they knew what sort of person she really was. But obviously, the, once they carried on going and going, you could see he was getting really irritated, and it was you know almost non-stop. So he, in a very indirect, aggressive way, told them that you know what, if they both have got boyfriends, why don't you kind of go for girls who are not already taken? So basically, back off. Uh, essentially, also talking for. Um, uh, Hirotaka so they obviously understood and they're like okay you know we apologize and um, no that was that was actually quite cute actually and then obviously in the end when we saw them you saw that glance that Hirotaka had looked at Narumi realizing you know she does see me as her boyfriend at least I mean if, if it's not some if it's not a relationship that many people know of at least she regards me as her boyfriend she thinks of me on that plane and it was one of the juniors at the end that said that oh I didn't realize they were so close they're so different which goes back to obviously them arguing over which boyfriend needs to be on top <laughs> and I love that bit at the end when Naomi um I do apologize if I keep saying his name wrong he was at the same restaurant they were arguing over who needs to be on top and he relayed this information back to Hirotaka but Hirotaka knew what they were arguing about you know he knew what was going on because as um oh I forgot to mention it was one of the points they had mentioned that Hirotaka um and uh, he occasionally talks about BL with Naomi Naomi Narumi they talk about BL occasionally whereas uh, it's something that Kabakura doesn't like to get involved in or he doesn't ever talk about so yes he's very knowledgeable about what they were talking about and obviously if only he was there was a way he could tell his younger brother that is not what you thought they meant <laughs> but that was a really really good episode i really enjoyed it and as always if you did like my video give me a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time